There's artillery there, there, and there. All across the ridge. No good, Captain. Damn. Captain Cutter? Yes, sir. Colonel wants you to bring your troop and attack from the right flank. Across that open ground, that's suicide. They got a hundred martyrs zeroed in across the elephant. I'm not here to discuss strategy. You have your orders. Well, has Colonel Turner lost his mind? That's an open field with martyrs. They're going to kill us out there. We can go around and... Listen, I'm tired of your mouth, and Cutter. You have two choices. You can either follow orders or face a firing squad. Yes, sir. What I like about the Army, they give you choices. All right, Virgil, mount them up. All right, boys. Mount them. Come on, move we'll into position, Jim. All right, boys, we got a bad one.
God, I'm sick of this damn war. Going back up on the buffalo. You ever been up on the Buffalo River? Captain, you're a loser. I got something for you. Listen real close. Ever since I was a boy, I've been trapping beaver up there on the Buffalo River. Every now and then, I look down there amongst the rocks on the bottom, of, and I'd see a clear, shiny stone found a couple of hundred of them over the years. Always figured on taking them to some expert to find out what they was. Captain, where are you? Where'd he go? I'm here, Virgil. I'm here. Here, Virgil. Oh, good. Good. Look, Captain. I hid them stones when I giant army. Hit them real good. Up there on that mountain. That the Indians are scared of. You know the place. I've never been on a buffalo verge. I want you and Moon to have them stones. My cabin too, but it's still there. Now you go up the river till you come to that Neelai rock. And you look through that Neelai till you see them big bluffs up yonder. There's a cave up there. That's where I hit them stones. Watch yourself up there on that mountain. It's spooky up there. There was something, something up there. Followed me. Lee, honey, you're such an animal. You've got to give me time to... Hi. They told me you were dead. I can't believe everything they say. We tried to get a hold of you. They told me you were dead. Who's this Lee, honey? Well, Major Blackburn and I. Lee Blackburn? What did you expect? What, that I would sit around waiting and hoping that maybe someday you'd come home? You know, when you're gone a long time, you tend to forget things you've always known. That you're married a round hill. A Yankee living round hill. You stinking... I wish you were dead. You wish. Point. You got a cushy job doing the fighting. You got my house. You got my wife. Rosalie, with all the Yankees around, can you do better than the dunce of class of 51? Listen, you turncoat scum. Get the hell out of my house. Sentry! Your sentry's busy. 
Maybe you'd like to throw me out of my house. You're damn right I would. I've been waiting for this ever since that lucky punch you... You don't own this house anymore, and you don't own me. Well, just get out of here yes, and leave us alone. You'll pay for this. It's all here. Blackie's troops are gonna be on us. Ah, uh, hell, them Yankees. And I don't like your jails, Captain. I don't like your reservations. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I hate being poor. I'm getting old. I can't stand it. We need money, Captain. What about Virgil Stones? Oh, you really think your rock's worth anything? Captain, I don't. I don't know anything about stones except our heads of flints. You finished up there? Just put this on. Get the herbs. There you go. Put your head on. Hey, Amos Richmond. Hey. Willie's brother? Willie's always talking about how smart he is. The, ge the geologist. Right. Damn right, rocks and such. I bet if we got a listen. I bet if we got a message to him. You ready? Yeah. He's in Little Rock, or he was. Get him to meet us at the loft. Down the hatch. Not me. I don't know what side of me this stuff drives crazy on my Irish side or my Indian side. And it's yours. I'll listen up to each What third of the interest in what we might find up there? You'd be willing to go along with us up on the Buffalo River? Take a look at some rocks hidden out up there by friend ours? Well, that's uh, quite a tempting offer. Yeah. But uh, I have my classes at the college. There are arrangements that I would have to make. I need time to think. The way things stand now, you got about five minutes. We had a little bit of trouble with the Yankees. How long did you say it would take you to get ready? Well, 
If I hurry. A couple of hours, I'll do it. Well, Captain, may I suggest that we hurry? Because I smell the bad breath of the blue coats on our behinds. That's just a scratch. You'll be all right. Do you see what they look like? I didn't see them. Can you get it out? Oh, hell yeah, teach you. Look, if there's a bullet, we'd have to dig it out. But there is no problem. Take a hit on that. This is real simple. <laughs> no problem? Yeah. Well, how are you going to remove it? It's real simple. Break it off. Take another drink on that boy. You'll be all right. It's a long way from your heart. You live. A 
I'm sure the captain means well. But what if the arrow was in my chest? Don't ask. I don't know, Captain. I don't know the sign. These people, they must have come a long way. Yeah, but why would they use arrows? I mean, all the Indian tribes I know of, they got better weapons than we got. My head is filled with unanswered questions, Captain. I don't know. I, I don't know these people. I got a feeling we're going to meet them pretty soon. Don't you go up there somewhere, see if you see anybody coming. The girl, withdraw. The job. He raped her, didn't he? Yeah. I just can't figure out why they didn't scalp her. Come on, girl. you taking out your sadistic tendencies on me. But this poor girl does not deserve your kind of brutality. It was disgusting, Captain. Get a blanket, boy. Move. Here. Take a drink of this. Come on, they won't poison you. Drink it. Come on, damn it. I've got a cup. I'll fetch it. Girl. Come on. Mm. Open your mouth. Come on. Come on, swallow. Swallow. That's good. See, I didn't kill you. Do you rapid recovery, miss? Got a name? My name is Drusilla Wilcox. Miss Wilcox. Apologize for Captain Cutter's behavior, which has come as a complete surprise to me. Are you feeling better now? Uh, I thought I was dead. Who are you? I'm Amos Richmond. Who is he? That's Captain Wishbone Cutter. Formerly of the 1st Arkansas Cavalry. What brought you here? Where are you going? We have some business up here. And it's lucky for you we came along when we did. Yes, I'm... I'm very grateful. I'm sorry you hurt yourself. Oh, I'll be all right. Like the captain says, it's a long ways from my heart. Is he always so cruel? I really don't know the captain that well. Uh, you feeling better now? <laughs> what an idiotic question to ask somebody who's just gone through what you had. No. I'm fine. Really. Um, the other member of our party is uh, Half Moon O'Brien. I'm told that uh, his father was an Irish trapper and his mother a Cherokee squaw. He was an army scout. And he's been with Captain Cutter many years. I saw no one, Captain. Good, we take him in. No, it's not good. What's wrong? I couldn't find any signs, but I think somebody's following us. 
Somebody is following us, Captain. Let's get the hell out of here. These people who attacked and killed your family, how did they look? Uh, they were strange. Uh, they were almost naked, and their bodies were painted all silver and had markings, blue and red markings on their faces. Uh, how many? It happened so sudden. Uh, I don't know. Maybe... Five, maybe six, maybe more. I don't Did know. Did you see their horses? Oh, can't this wait till we stop? Can't you see Miss Wilcox is all tucker now? It won't be long now. Well, yeah, you'll arrest you can tonight. We got a lot of hard riding ahead. We rode all day like they were right behind us, and I never saw a thing. You still believe we're being followed? Now, Moon does. I'm gonna learn to expect company when his nose hitches. Is she asleep? Yeah, she's all right now. Good. I think it's time we got to talk about what to do with her. What do you mean? Well, we need to take her with us. Or we can leave her behind. Or one of us can pack her out of here. Seems like it's all the choices we got. Well, to even consider leaving her behind is ridiculous. Well, we can't take her with us. That's insane. Look, we find some stones up there. We're going to need time to set up some claims around this river. We can't keep her with us indefinitely. The less she knows about what we're doing up here, the better. Well, I think Miss Wilcox can be trusted to be discreet. Oh, damn it, teacher. This is not the Maypole dance. Well, likely the lady here will turn out to be some greedy little... Have this whole river bottom swarming with prospectors. I do not understand your way of thinking. The thing you got to understand, Teach, is rocks. And when the time comes, you just tell us which ones are worth something and which ones aren't. Now, look. I'm not your dog on a leash. Here to lead you to some ridiculous rock pile. I'm a full partner in this enterprise, and I will have my say. Richmond, I want you to listen to me very carefully. You are a partner in the profits of this enterprise, if any, not in running it. And when the time comes, you will use your area of expertise to make decisions. But until then, Moon or I will decide what happens. And maybe if we're lucky, you will stay alive to share in the profits of what we find. All right. All right. Then what's your decision? What's going to happen to Drusilla? What do you think? Girl, should we take her with us or live behind? If we leave the woman behind, they will find her and kill her. Or take her as a slave woman. Now, before you make your decision, Captain, let me say this. If the lady stays behind, so do I. Since you're so anxious for some responsibility, she's all yours. I'm tired of looking at her. Come on.
Crystal Sun, do you see it? Drusilla, we could have shot you. I didn't know where you were. Get out of the tree. Why did they say that? Let's get back to the horses. Hey, Moon. This arrow would have gone all the way through you. people, Captain. Why do they track us so cleverly and strike just once and then disappear? Well, what I can't understand is why you can't track them. I seen you track Osage Braves for two days across damn near solid rock. These people leave no tracks, Captain. They move like a fog through the forest, leaving no trace. I mean, if you're trying to scare me, you're doing it. that needle handy? You do seem somewhat the worse for wear. Going down river to sort my dress if you'll allow me a little privacy. Don't worry, we haven't been gone from civilization that long. Don't pill around out there either. We ain't got all day. Me. I'd rather ride with Teach, thank you. Teach is horse I'm concerned with, not you. That animal needs his burden, Lighten. Ride with me or you walk. Put, put in that stirrup and give me your arm. All right.
I do my share of sentry duty. I'll relieve Half Moon so he can come in and dry out. Oh, sit down, Teach. You couldn't see a thing out there. They're going to come back here and slaughter those two up there. Captain, if I'm not back by noon, I won't be back. Five miles down the river, Captain. Yeah. Some, somebody or something heard of them there. Jeez. They were spooked as hell, Captain. What the hell they? What kind of weird claw marks are these? They like jabbing with something? Let's get the hell out of here. Let's forget about the stones. Well, this thing's gotten to you, hadn't it, Moon? <laughs> I fear no man, Captain. You know that. Not natural people. The spirits. Demons. Oh, Moon, I quit believing in spirits and demons when it's me high to a bobcat. Captain, no man flies like a bird. Whatever chased our horses away is following us, leaves no tracks. I feel its presence. It's a spirit that moves through the air like the wind. Let's quit it. Let's quit it. We seriously start thinking things like that, we'll panic. Now, I don't know what the hell it is any more than you do. I'll tell you one thing. Whatever it is, it's real. It's got flesh and blood. It's not a ghost. I'm gonna kill it. I go where you go, Captain. You know that. But you're wrong. I can track any man, but I cannot track a demon that leaves no tracks. Figured they'd show up sooner or later. Yeah, this one's different, Captain. It's not like the others. Hell, you're right. That's not an Indian. Lord never made an Indian excellent to be here. Maybe we should introduce ourselves, Captain. Uh, next time he moves, I'll pin him down. You fetch him. Go on. Don't move. No, 
scared y'all, didn't I? <laughs> well, you like scared the pee out of me. I never been squirted between a rock and a hard spot in all my life. Except when that mama bear caught me in the cave with the three cubs. <laughs> You've been better off at mama bear than with Moon. Why are you spying on us? Spying? Spying. Well, me and old Dancer night. he's my partner. We just out hunting fresh meat for the winter and... and... This is a dangerous country, my friend. Fellas gotta be careful. You live around it. Captain, there's a man behind you, a fat one. Tell him to come on out here. Well, you gotta be mistaken, my friend. Old Dancer's way on up the river here. <sighs> Mister, if I've got to send Moon at him, old Dancer ain't gonna like it. Dancer? Is that you? Why don't you come on out and meet her new friends? Now, y'all won't need those. Hey, yeah, come on. This old dancer, he's my partner. Can we ought to have these folks up to Kevin for Bud, that deer? Uh, what do you think about it? Uh, uh, show us! Uh, show them that you want them. That's it. That a boy. <laughs> Y'all, come on. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> you know what kind of tickle me to think y'all thought we was fine on you? Well, you know, the truth is, uh, we had old dancer knives in the army, but we didn't like it. So we left. <laughs> So we come up here and hid out, and the thing is, we didn't tell them we was going to leave. <laughs> so, well, we figured we'd, well, we figured y'all were, uh, well, you know, a guy can't be too careful. I uh, don't worry. Nobody's looking for you. We lost. You did. <laughs> I believe I'll put a little more wood on the fire. Well, yeah, now, first things first. <laughs> Warm gizzard. Three men live here, Captain, not two. Yeah, take all you need, friend. The bushwhackers. They kill you for your boots. Dancer, we're gonna need some wood in here now. Hurry it up. Hope y'all like deer stew. <laughs> it's good. Dancer, you coming in here with that wood? It's getting slower and slower. Well, old Dancer, he ain't been right in the head for years. At least not since that eagle scratched him on the face. You say an eagle made those scars? Yeah. Well, now, that's a little strange. Eagle never attacks anything it doesn't intend to eat. Yeah, we figured it had to be an eagle. There's no other bird big enough to have claws like that. Well, now, what do old Dancer have to say about it? <laughs> old Dancer ain't talked in years. He talks as it happened. <laughs> Sure, there ain't no new Indians in here using black arrows. Black arrows? A little red, white marking skull. No? Saves me. Where are you folks headed? Up river, just hunting and fishing. Gonna be mighty lonely up there. You know, folks say that there's haints up there. Haints? Haints that scare you. <laughs> you know, like ghosts and. Things like that, you know, things you can't see. Crap. You couldn't get old Dancer to go up there if you beat him with a stick. I figured he must have. That's where he got his claw on his eye from the eagle. Uh. 
Any strangers and you people coming through here? Well, we did get a few trappers. We won't get a lot of them now, now that the weather's going to turn bad on us, but I never see them come back. Of course, they could find another place out, but... You're going to Texas, Oklahoma. A lot of people leaving the South. Y'all are more than welcome to stay. I mean, we got a warm cabin, we got plenty of deer meat, and plenty of places just to kind of vet down. More than welcome. More than welcome. No, we got to move on. Thank you a lot. Well, it sure was a pleasure having you folks stop by. It's going to get cold. Sure can't give you another jar of that honey to take along with you? No, thanks. You've done enough. We're much obliged. Thank you. Move out. Well, you all have a good trip. Just remember what old Posey told you. Don't you hate to get you? Don't scare you. <laughs> Just my wife Pat take you right down the river. Sorry you all lost the war. All them powder on them because of you. Now get your gun and come on. Come on. All right, hurry it up. Come on. This isn't quite a surprise party for us up the way. We don't. Horses throw the shoe. They're up in there for sure. You sure that quacking idiot didn't tip our hand? Nah. They're just having a little trouble with the mail. You fix the horse's shoe. That'll give me time to check out their positions. All right. Mind if I make a suggestion? Sure, why not? You see those rocks up on the hillside there above the trail? I saw them. What about them? Well, while you and Half Moon change the shoe, Drew Silver and I'll take a walk. I got a box of dynamite on the pack horse there. I'll take a couple of sticks up there with me, plant them in their proper positions, and the explosion will cause a landslide. That'll bury them. It's <laughs> a hell of a good idea. Don't you be shooting that girl. Listen, Rafe. I get the girl first. I tell you do. Now, don't be starting that with me. You had the last one first. It's my turn. That's only fair. Yeah, I've seen her, and I want her. You can have next two to come along. I don't want the next two. I want her. And by God, I'm gonna have her. Well, hell, it could be a year before another one comes by. You're gonna get her over my dead body.
close, man. There's that needle eye rock Virgil told us to look for. Following us. What would that matter to us? That demons. Oh, come on, let's get back. Come on, Moon. Should have known. Sobe. What? Chaka Sobe. I know of this mountain, Captain. I've known of it all my life. No wonder Virgil hit the stones here. Every tribe knows this mountain. In the tongue of my mother, Chaka Sobe. The mountain of demons. You mean you actually believe there's some connection between this place and the attacks on us? There is a legend, Teach, of Chikara, a great and powerful eagle. Chikara took care of the people on this mountain, fed them, clothed and protected them from their enemies. The medicine man of the people became jealous of Chikara's great power and killed the magnificent bird. To hide his crime, he cast the bird into the river, but Chikara rose up and destroyed him. Chikara then cast the people off the mountain, forbidding them ever to return under penalty of death. Chakasobi. Anyone who enters this sacred ground will die. A lot of opinion superstitions, right? Hey, move. That Aaron teaches arm. That hole in there is that real? What about the mayors that killed Rusella's people? The real. In superstition. Just... This is sacred ground. You don't understand. You go ahead. I'll catch up. Make you mad, damn it. You're half Irish, too, you know. 
I'm not sorry she's... Don't make yourself at home. Teach, would you ask Mr. Cutter if it's all right if somebody tells me what's going on? Go ahead, tell her. If we find them, we can't hide it from her. If we don't, it don't matter no how. I'm touched by your trust. Very time. I just want you to know that um, it wasn't me. It was Cutter who was against taking you into our confidence. I know. But tell me what the stones are. <laughs> Actually, we don't know. You don't know? You came all this way and risked your lives for some kind of stones, and you don't know what they are? That's why I'm here. Uh, to identify and evaluate old Virgil's treasure. And there's no way we can possibly know until we find them. But surely you must have some idea what they are. Yeah, um, according to Virgil's description, Cutter thinks they're diamonds. Diamonds? All right, let's go explore. supposed to be here, Captain. The gods are against us. Gods. The hell with the gods. Maybe after we have a little something to eat, get a little rest, we'll do much better in the morning. Drisella, what are we eating? Eating? You didn't say anything to me about eating. You just said I was to keep watch and uh, fire a shot if I saw somebody. Girl, well, I didn't know how to tell you everything. Never mind. Sorry, I'll make something now. Oh, forget it, Moon. I can do it faster. Come on, Moon. I said I was sorry, didn't I? What do you want me to do? Get down on my knees and beg your forgiveness? Girl, I can't think of a thing I want you to do when you get right down to it. 
You've made one snide remark after another about me, and I'm sick of it. I didn't choose to be in your company any more than you chose to be in mine. But I've done my best to put up with you. Why don't you loan me a horse and I'll ride out of here right now? If you won't do that, then the least you can do is just ignore my presence. Consider yourself ignored. I wondered how much abuse you were going to take before you started fighting back. That's all right. Everything's going to be all right. It is, Drusilla, but there's, there's much danger here. It's so hard to believe, isn't it, when it's so beautiful? But you're right, I guess it was stupid. Drusilla and I are going to go water the horses, Captain. must have collapsed. I don't see Drusilla anywhere, do you? No. All the horses are gone. Drusilla? Drusilla! Help! Help! What's that, you? We get you out of there. You all right? I think so. Go get them ropes off the cave. Quick! On the double. Slack, you can be slack when I'll, I'll hold you hold. Okay. Ready? Ready. Here we come, girl. <laughs> you all right? No. Oh, give me a little slack. All right, give me a little more. So far, make sure you got a good foothold. Hey, I'm going to get you out. Slack. 
Ooh. It ain't broke, girl. I don't know. A little slack. Okay. I got you. Come on up. Come on. You all right now? You all right? Look at me. Look at me. Come here. Come here. It's all right now. You all right? That's a good move, girl. I'll get you. Sure nothing broke? I don't know. All right, Tate, you got her. Oh! It's no. all right. Okay. Now you're going to have to stand right here. You're going to have to stand right there. No. Yes, you are. Come on. Come on, get your butt around there. Come on. No. I got you. All right, now listen to me. Jump up on me, piggyback here. Piggyback style. All right, get up on me. Go on up. Hang on. Here we go. I pulled. Gotcha, girl. I got you. Now, come on. <laughs> any difference anymore but I bet I know where them rocks are Yeah. No. Okay. 
Okay, a little more slack. Hold up. I think I found it. Where is it? <laughs> hey. Sure is rotten bad, though. Bag's got a hole in it. I got another bag up around the pack. Just so I go get it. Get hey, that, get that map. We'll take care of it. Oh, just a long double, girl. Where you at? Bring that bag on down. Toss on down. Give him plenty of rope. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay. You coming with it? <laughs> All right. Oh, now bird. bring it up. Bring it up slowly. Take it on. We don't want it to bust open. And Virgil. Easy. Slide one. Easy. Now I'm going to turn loose on it. Got to give it a nice yank. Here we go. <laughs> You company. 
That's real nice. Cold out here. Should have brought my blanket. Well, it's so warm, still a little painful. If you move over on this side, I'll keep you warm. In any case, we got to get the hell off this mountain. Oh, I'm tote down off of here. Oh, girl. What is it now? Come on, brace up. Come on. We survived, didn't we? Come on. Girl, we got a long way to go. You can't fall apart on me now. Come on.
you all the time. Fall all the way from the top. This will look like a long... Oh. 